All right, phone cut out on me, so sorry. Here's um, part three. So, are we done? Yeah, almost. But see, this is why we do that over ice. See all that brown around there? Lead sulfate. Of course, I will test it with Stannis. Or, uh, I'll, uh, um, put it with my other filters. You know, no matter how you try and rinse, I put a drop of, uh, Stannis on that. Look what it did. So, we'll burn those guys up, too. So, I'll show you. I mentioned the, uh, I was getting ready for the scrapyard. So, I know if I didn't show this to you, you guys would be mad at me. Alright, so what I got here is uh, from the blue barrels forward, this is all number two steel. And uh, my yard, the rule on number two is eighth of an inch or thicker. Uh, oh, I gotta pull him out of there. He's not supposed to go. Uh, sorry guys, I hurt my leg or something. Walking with a lamp like an old man. Uh, it'll go away. So yeah, that's my number two steel. I'm hoping, I think I got probably 500 pounds there. And then, uh, got a regular scrap shred load. And my guess on this, you know, I'm going to put this probably 400, there might be 500 pounds there, but heck, the heaviest things in there is this guy right here. It's a working spreader, but uh, I've had it on Facebook for uh, 50 bucks, guys. You know, it's $279, brand new. And I've had it on Facebook all summer long. So, uh, what it is, it's a uh, spreader. I don't know if you can see it. It's got these points on it with an aerator. Nobody wanted it, and it's taking up room in the yard. So, it's going to the scrapyard. Found this on the way home from the store a few months ago. So, let's see, I've got motors, which, there's also two uh, hot tub motors here, pumps. I've got copper content, brass, die cast zinc, and number one copper. So, that little piece there looks like solder, but it's not, it's just uh, patina. And then, uh, Got this, uh, got this dolly out of one of the uh, cleanouts the other day. It was pretty cool. I, I've been wanting one with these, uh, the soft wheels. I've got a hard wheel dolly. Uh, nah, it's one thing I took. I didn't want to, but to get the job, I had to. I got to pay eight dollars a piece to get rid of them. Well, the customer had to pay $8 a piece. But still, real pain having to deal with it. And this came from that store that I did. So, yeah. Just a little bit to start the week out with. I'm going to take this toolbox. I lost that top <laughs> that you guys seen me take off a few months ago. I couldn't find it, but now that I found it, it's a good toolbox. I'm going to give that to my son-in-law. He's been helping me out. Doing real good. And then we got these rubber mats. My wife wanted me to keep them. Uh, and I still haven't done nothing with that. It's, uh, you know what? You can only do so much in a day, right? So it's just regular uh, number two insulated wire. That's uh, Cat 5. And then uh, 
number one insulated wire, which I know a lot of you guys are going to tell me to strip it, but I just ain't got time. So, let's take a look. Oh. Sorry, I was trying to use the light. Didn't mean to give you a close-up of me. No, that's probably scary. Probably like, uh, uh, you see those things on Facebook, you start reading it, and they put a scary picture. I hate those things. Um, alright, so we're done filtering, and, uh, ended up having to get another container out, because there just wasn't enough room. Uh, so I'm going to pour, pour this guy into here. I'm going to spray this down, but not a lot, because, uh, actually, I may not even spray it. I may just put it to the side, since I'm going to, uh, put it with my filters and stuff. Matter of fact, I'm not going to. Uh, reason being is, at this stage, if you spray it, it could send, uh, you know, little micro pieces of that lead sulfate into clean solution and this is really clean it's been filtered oh gosh five times so uh let's see what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put these two solutions together and uh throw it on the hot plate warm it up and hopefully i'll get a drop for you guys so let me pause you for a minute all right so we're in one container. So I don't have a watch glass for this, or maybe I do. I can't remember where it's at. This coffee filter, or the coffee top, I made that um, to hold my filter up higher when I was doing solutions because it seemed like the uh, filter was coming all the way down there, and with that in there, it comes up to about here. So, okay, we're plugged in. Let me get this heating up. And um, as, uh, as soon as we can, guys, I'll, uh, we'll do a drop. All right, guys, this is it. The moment you've been waiting on. Oh, man, I just noticed there's a speck in there. And here we go. I put some extra HCL in there to make sure that it would, uh, uh, that to make sure the sodium metabisulfite had something to latch on to. Looking a lot greener on the camera than it is right. in real life. we're seeing it's darkening here but on the camera it's the, ah here we go oh uh, yeah uh, yeah where's your stir rod it's over there I used 10 grams of sodium metabisulfite and that should be more than enough it is it's strange guys because here it's looking really dark but through the light or through the camera it looks really bright still let's see
guy's so weird. Spray me off. It's over here. That's good. I'm gonna hit it one more time. That's good. The slowest drop you've ever seen. Stir it one more time. There's still a little SMB on this spoon. Bring me off. Like I said, I can see it changing here. It may still be too cold. But uh, we're going to close with this, guys. And uh, I'll give you a look-see in the morning. So, thank you for watching. And next time, hopefully, we'll get them better. <laughs>